Yoga and relationships, relationships and yoga. So I don't know about you, but I'm really impatient. I want to move from like the first date to complete intimacy, to utter safety and trust, to marriage, to kids, to God forbid divorce. I want to plan the whole thing out and just have it be complete. I want the whole thing now done. But relationships don't work this way, of course. It's like building a house. We can't skip steps. We have this illusion in our culture that somehow we go from meeting someone to having the whole mansion built instantaneously. Like love happens just in a flash, but it's not true. We actually build our love day to day with daily mindful efforts, each brick laid with care. So whether we're building the foundation and just starting off a relationship, or whether we're working on the second floor, or whether we're putting the finishing touches on our 18th turret, we still want to lay each brick with mindful care and love. And not all the bricks are fun to lay, let's be honest, like those conflicts, those disagreements, those uncomfortable moments where we get caught. And yet, if we apply with care, just as much care in that moment as the fun, crazy vacations, the fun, crazy adventures. When we step back and look at our house, look at our handiwork, we have a thing of beauty, a thing of art. In the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali talks about practice and he says that it needs to be consistent for a long time and earnest. And this is the same way that we build a relationship. Samadhi, enlightenment, it doesn't happen overnight. It's built through care and practice moment by moment, and let's not miss a step. Let's enjoy each brick, whether it's the first or the millionth brick that we're putting down. That's the thought for now. See you on the mat.